Hey, what's up guys? It's OGC here. Today we're going to talk about how to exploit the game for your benefits. Specifically, we're going to do this using our garrison. Um, it's important to note that your garrison really does not matter at all. Uh, <laughs> but I'm going to show you how to turn your garrison into a mega garrison. It's not going to be stronger, I'm just going to double the size. I'm going to double the units that are in your, your garrison. So. If you have a non-lich garrison, without doing any conversions or anything funny, uh, you can now have 400 and what is it, 430 units in your garrison. If you're a lich, those are all convertible to skeletons, then you can have like 700 units in your garrison. Not many people know about this, but now that we're on YouTube and we're taking over, you, you are going to know about this. So check this out, guys. You can have up to 215 units in your garrison before anything funky happens, before any conversions or anything like that. So we have 215 units in garrison. I was thinking to myself, say I get attacked and I have 20 units. So I lose 20 units when I get attacked, right? When I get attacked, where do those units go? Turns out there's a battlefield and those 20 units will get deployed. But when those units are actually deployed, I now only have 195 units in my garrison. I don't even know if you guys can see that. Let's bring it closer for the people. Yeah, oh yeah, that looks way better. So when my garrison gets attacked, those 20 units then go to the battlefield. They are not in the garrison. They are erased from the garrison temporarily. They are not in it. So what I realized was, I, I had this funky idea, what happens if while I'm getting attacked, I add 20 units into the garrison? Which brings me back to 215. Then after this battle is over, those other 20 go back into the garrison and now the battle ends and I'm at 230, sorry, I pulled a Jenka, 235 units total. 20 are in the hospital because I probably just got wiped. So how, how do you double it? You double it by getting friends to attack you. And they have to do it simultaneously because... Um, because say each attack I have pulls 20 units out and 10 of my friends attack me. That would be minus 200 troops. Now I only have 15 troops in the garrison. 200 of them are out on the battlefield fighting. That means I can add in 200 troops. Which brings me back to 215, the max that you can have. After that battle is over, 200 injured troops go back. Now my garrison sits pretty at 415 troops total. That, that's in total, the 415, uh, 200 will be in the, the hospital. So, I would do this in small intervals, that way you can add gold uh, units in to build your garrison and get above this 215. You can make your garrison up to 430 units by, by doing this system. It does not require any funky conversions, it does not require any specific race. Anybody can do this. Um, Maybe not dwarf uh, or units that permanently die. I'm thinking too far into it, but it has to do with the hospital and the units being able to come back. So anything that doesn't permanently die can be involved in this. I made an example in game so that you guys can see it in game and see exactly how it works. Let's go check that out. Hey guys, it's OGC. Uh, so now we're going to jump into the video. Can we cue the video up right there? So you can see that um, I have two people that are getting ready to attack my garrison. My garrison is actually in green. I set it up so on the ground, it's only ground units, and I did um, all archers and fungus, um, shroom lords, because I, I'm, I'm slift. So I have um, a bunch of archers, uh, two rows of archers, and then two rows of the, the shroom lords. It's as many troops I could fit on the ground. I did not put any on the towers. I wanted to make it as easy as possible. So the first person attacked me, 
uh, my garrison dropped from 215 down to 193. So right there, I just filled it back up to, to 215. Now I'm waiting for the, um, the second person to attack me. You guys can see how bad my spelling is in this game. Lilith, if you're watching, add autocorrect into your chats. Please add autocorrect because I butcher everything. So now I'm getting attacked for the second time. So I go in, I fumble around, I'm looking for the, the shield. Um, I put up the shield because <laughs> I know they're helping me out, but I like my resources. I'm sorry, guys. And we can see again, I go, I drop down to 193 again because uh, 22 units got pulled out. So I fill up the garrison yet again. So when you're when you are attacked, your troops are pulled out of the garrison. They are no longer in the garrison. Your garrison maximum troop numbers uh, for how many are in the garrison drop while they're deployed. Right now, uh, I'm just bouncing back and forth in, in game, checking things out. Um, it, it, it drops down. You can then fill up your garrison. So it is possible to double your garrison if you have uh, 10 people attack you all at the same time. So we, we can see here, I'm, I'm bouncing through, through a couple things. I go in, I can see all of my dead troops. That, that's how many were deployed for two attacks. I go to queue them all up, and um, I, I thank the people for, for attacking me. And then, uh, I, I, right now I'm just trying to find them. I would do this during the power event, right before the power event to get rid of all of your golds. I would just do it then, because um, you ideally want to get the gold troops in. I did silver just to show it. Now I think I'm going to open up my garrison so you guys can see there. Now I have 259 out of 215 units in there from those two attacks. So each one got me 22 more units. I scroll down, you can then see all the injured and all the silver that I added. So this is uh, game changing if you want to increase the size of your garrison, your garrison is still going to be weak. Make sure you subscribe. Subscribe to the channel.